Alright, all right, we're going to evaluate the integral x cubed times e to the negative x squared from negative x negative infinity to infinity. This is a Gaussian function. It's going to be short and awesome. And just note I got many modifications of this integral as well. So check those out. So we're going to do a substitution. But before we do that, we're going to split this up into x squared and x. I'm going to show you why we did that in a minute. We're going to set u equal to x squared. Right? So if we do that, then the derivative of u with respect to x is 2x using the power rule. And if we rearrange this equation, we get x dx is equal to du over 2. So our x dx here is du over 2. Now, we also have to look at the limits of integration. So x is going from negative infinity to infinity, but we can split that up into negative infinity to 0 and then from 0 to infinity. And the reason we want to split this up is because the limits of integration for u are going to change. As x goes to negative infinity, u goes to infinity because the negative squared becomes positive. And as x goes to zeros, u also goes to zero. And as x goes to infinity, u goes to infinity. So from here, we can substitute in uh, our, our, our stuff. <laughs> uh, we're, and rather than negative infinity to infinity, we'll go from infinity to zero for the first part. Uh, this is our function with everything in. So x squared is u. Right, e to the negative x squared is now just e to the negative u, and this x dx right here is du over 2. Hope you can see that. Uh, we do the same thing to the other side where we have the other set of limits of integration. And now these are the exact same, these two terms, except the limits of integration are different. So we're going to flip the limits of this term, the right hand term. And if we flip the limits, you got to flip the sign as well. And if you check these two terms out, they're literally identical. So if we're subtracting things that are identical, uh, we get zero. So this is an odd function. This is this is a symmetric integral. And the integral of x cubed times e to the negative x squared from negative infinity to infinity is zero. Right on. Hope you got some value from this video. Hope it helps. Uh, good luck on your assignments and exams, midterms, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.